ecological issues, they affect us all. And so, tonight on Second Nature, we'll be recycling some old nature footage. Folks, folks, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me this morning. I would have done it sooner if I could. The title's a bit of a misnomer. This broke yesterday. I know those that are in the know know, but I know a lot of people don't know, so I'm going to bring it to you this morning. Folks, we got some breaking news. We've got some breaking news. The pendulum swings heavy this December. And it's ironic because I believe it was almost a year ago. Well, it was a year ago that, you know, 
Ma fell ill. But it was shortly after Von Helton bragged about how the pendulum was swinging his way. Well, this December, folks, it seems it's swinging out the other way for Von Helton. And I know a lot of people have varying opinions on this. I think most people obviously see this as a positive for the kids. I, as your humble correspondent, want to remain objective and neutral. And I have to say, if someone was to say secular opinion, you got what you want, the kids are gone, I would say no. Because I've said this many times in past videos, as far back as to the early abductions of CPS, the interventions of CPS. No, I don't wish the kids to be taken away by CPS. I wished that Von Helton would get his shit together and be a good father. And the kids wouldn't have to go through all this. Because it is traumatic to the kids. There is truth to that. It's not an optimal situation to be removed from a parent from their home. Even if it's really shitty sometimes. But if nothing else, it is a testament. What was it, 13 times, folks? Been three years and he just got the single wide? I mean, we could go on and on. And I think anyone who's been around has seen enough, has witnessed literal child abuse in his very videos that he puts out to the public. We could pick any one of those as a more than valid reason to think that this person is living garbage, right? I'm not denying that, but for me, and maybe I'm just desensitized to know, you know, you know, from the swallowing, swallowing bottles of pills to second degree burns from being left in the tub with scalding water to, uh, I mean, the list goes on and on, but to me, it's the manipulation. We've seen him, we've seen him do it with Andrea. He started doing it with the kids, pulling them on camera. And even more recently, bringing Candace into the calls. Oh, this is your new mom. You're going to be coming home. We're going to be doing this. Whether the kids wanted to come home or not, either they saw it as a positive and got their hopes up, or they were completely terrified of going back. Either way, it was a roller coaster of emotions and completely irresponsible of Von Helton to do that to those kids. Oh, you'll be home for Christmas, and we're going to do this and that. Now, hopefully, they're happy about the decision, too. But I just wanted to get that out there. For anybody that thinks, you know, it's a positive thing that Von Helton was such a shitty fucking dad that someone else had to step in and <laughs> adopt the kids, I don't think that's a great thing. I just hope, like everybody else moving forward, the kids have a chance. That's all I got to say. Now, Thursday... We talked about how Vaughn had went to court. But we hadn't heard anything official. Now, at that time, there were rumblings. There were rumors. Like there often is. There's speculation. But nothing solid to go on. Vaughn was silent. Which is typically a sign that something bad happened. But we don't know. Then... Big Larry went live the next morning, who had been in contact with Andrea, that somehow was involved in this, and was there via, via Zoom, apparently. And he reported that Andrea told him that Von Helton had lost his parental rights. Now, that's, that, that, that's very strong evidence, but still, I wanted to hear it from the horse's vag. And Von Helton, in a Twitch stream with uh, his buddy J-Dubs, actually admits that he officially lost the kids December 1st. And again, in a tour with the double wide, he talks about how they've been adopted. So, folks, this is from Vaughn, right? Remember, this is from Vaughn, but again, this is from Vaughn. Now, what's really interesting about this particular clip that we're going to watch, and we can go back later and watch, like, more of the actual uh, Twitter video. But what's really interesting about this, and this was mirrored by uh, the great Gertrude. He, I saw his link first, actually. 
But the person who actually clipped this out and put it up on YouTube for everyone to see, just this piece, was J-Dubs. Not only does J-Dubs get him talking about it, but he actually clips it out and puts it up for everyone to see. Right? Even though the whole point of going to Twitch is to avoid this type of stuff. Like, at this point, is anyone in denial that J-Dubs is just fucking completely yanking Von Hilton's big red one? Like, I mean, come on, folks. Folks. But what I also want you to pay attention to, remember, this man just officially lost his kids. Watch his demeanor and his mood at the beginning of this. Folks, I want to thank you for joining me. Let's get into it. We are, we are going live on Twitter. Yes. For those who want to come out and follow us on Twitter, we, oh, sec, oh my God, I just logged in my Twitter and Secular Opinion is following me. <laughs> um, well, I guess we're going to report him. Insta ban. Insta ban. Yeah, that's an Insta ban. <laughs> that's an Insta ban. Fuck yeah, that's an Insta ban. Now, look, at, look how heartbroken Vaughn is. Right? This is right after. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, holy shit. Um, let me give the link out to people on YouTube. I'm just going right. to do a quick promoting on YouTube the video right. link. Well, while you're doing that, let me go get my food. All right. Oh yeah, what are you cooking up today? Uh, teriyaki. 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 Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and check us out on Twitter. Twitter is a free speech zone. They believe in free speech, so check us out. Uh, Brett King made a video about me. That's right. It was a, how we met and how we met Vaughn. It was a very good video. I, and he said a lot of beautiful things in there. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm glad that I, you know, I, you know, hopefully he still considers me f a friend. Um, and um, I still care about Brett. I always care about Brett. I always wonder what happens to him. And I'm always concerned, like, when he goes off of YouTube and, where he's going and what happened and who, you know, who said what to who and, and someone say something nasty. And, you know, he has a lot of defense mechanisms now because of, because of online. And it's a, it's a shame that atheists abuse people and they get away with it online. It's a, it's a, it's a shame, but uh, we are live on Twitter. If people want to follow me on Twitter, uh, link is in the description to my Twitter or the, All right, we got on the that cooking in the nuker. And uh, it'll be done here pretty soon. Yeah, you. I uh, just want to say a quick something for YouTube. Um, um, Brett said he likes your mods, your Fallout mods. You want to? Say yeah. Brett? Yeah. Yeah, he's just devastated, isn't he, folks? See, my theory is he's figuring now he's going to get disability, and if he does, if and that may be a possibility, folks. Brace yourself for this. He may get it, and he'll most likely get back pay if he does. So he may be coming into some money, right? So I don't think Jerry's check is on the front of his mind anymore. I don't think that's his priority. That's my theory. That's why you see this man so broken that he just lost his kids for the rest of their childhood. In fact, a lot of people do. Yeah. Close to close to 3,000 people do, as a matter of fact. Where can they find your mods, the Nexus? My mods are on Nexus. Yeah, the Nexus, uh, Fallout 4 Nexus. Just put Fallout 4 Nexus in it. That'll bring you to it. Fallout and, uh, 4 Nexus, Von Helton. Can we put yep, Von Helton yep. in? Fallout 4 Nexus. Just put Fallout 4 Nexus and then uh, Von Helton Integrated. And then um, once you put Von Helton Integrated in there, you'll find all my mods. Beautiful. That's, uh, that's my name under, under Nexus, Von Helton Integrated, or my mods names anyway, Von Helton Integrated. And uh, so, yeah, I've got, uh, you know, like I said, uh, close to three. Well, as a matter of fact, let me, let me run up real quick. We got time. Yeah. Run up here real quick. And uh, I'll tell you. I'll just tell you. Um, I'm getting a lot of views, not necessarily getting a lot of downloads, but I'm getting a lot of views, man. I mean, you know, a lot of views. Uh, let me see here. People are looking, but they're not using, huh? Yeah. They're, well, they, you know, they're curious. A lot of people are just curious, but, um, okay. Now like, uh, total. He, he's like completely invested in, in the fallout mods. Right. But just completely disconnected. I don't know, folks. Everybody, I guess, deals with things different ways, but... Use 1,327, but unique downloads, 
uh, total downloads rather is only 34. So, I mean, you know, a lot of people, they just look, but, um, but in any event, um, you know, I'm well, hopefully I'm, we catch some people to download and, and support cash app. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, I've got my cat. Yeah, I got my cash app on there, and so hopefully they'll leave me a little, little bit of. I have been, um, I've been making all kinds of cool stuff, and you know, beds and and ceiling fans, and I my my um, you know, the old rusty shacks ain't old rusty shacks anymore. I've got new wallpaper. I've got ceilings. Yeah. I've got flooring. So everything, everything is coming cool. up really nice, man. Oh my, yeah, it's really, really cool. And uh, and now uh, I'm now yeah. I made I made uh, uh, beds with curtains on them. You know the real fancy beds with curtains on them. Fascinating. And I uh, got them. But watch how John turns this around quick out there. And so uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make uh, some some uh, some uh, uh, beds l-shaped you know l-shaped beds where okay. you got one at the top and then you got one at the bottom and it forms yeah, those funky wall. ones that you were showing me yeah yeah and then uh and see underneath that other side there i can have a desk with it with a chair and so that way you got your desk and you got the two beds right there together see it's all one all one unit you know pretty cool huh yeah 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 i always thought it was pretty cool yeah yeah, Brett, Brett really likes him apparently, so that's good. That's real good. Yeah, he wanted me, he told me he said I, I want I want some children's beds, and I said, well, you know, it's ironic you say that because that was literally the next thing I was going to do was make some children's beds, and so um, so uh, yeah, made some children's beds, and um, he wanted some plain uh, blanket, plain colored blankets because apparently there wasn't very many in some of the other mods that were out there. So I made some plain color blankets for his beds and stuff. So yeah, you know, any any reasonable request, folks, that you have for my mods, I'm more than happy to do. I don't mind. I don't mind as long as it's a reasonable request, and it's not copyrighted, trademarked, or you know any of that shit. Holy mom, the night the food ain't even done yet. Calm down, <laughs> dude. Calm down, dude. You're getting too excited. You're getting too excited. Just calm down. Okay? Just calm oh, down. Oh, puppy dog. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know, they, she knows She knows that something happened yesterday. She doesn't know what, but she knows something important happened yesterday. And I suspect this residual energy from that. You, you know. want to talk about December 1st or you want to leave that up private? Uh, no, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about All it. Right. I'm happy to talk about it. See, here's the thing. Uh, the trolls were successful in getting my kids totally removed from me and adopted out. Now, I want you all to listen to me, and I want you to listen to me good. That was the stupidest fucking thing you could have ever done. Because now, I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want, including getting that truck out there and paying you all a house call. Because I ain't got no kids to keep me down. I can get in that truck out there and knock on your door. Literally, knock on your door. Of course, I'll have the sheriff with me when I do. I'm not stupid. And I think you know what's going to happen when we when we show up at your door, right? You're going to go to prison. You took my wife, my marriage, my kids, and my mother. You literally destroyed every facet of my fucking... Oh, folks, and it cuts off there. But don't worry, because we have the full video on Twitter. And we'll get to that in a second. Now, I thought I already had this loaded, so bear with me. Bear with me. Here we go. I want to go to Vaughn's video that he posted on Odyssey, the double wide, where he's giving us a tour of the double wide and how things were supposed to play out. And uh, he spills a little more tea. So let's get into that. And then we'll come back to the Twitter video. Folks, thumbs it up. Oh, God, that kills my ears. Sorry, folks. Let me fast forward a bit. Uh, picture, so it's room. To do, I uh, okay. Right. I uh, gave my word that I would record my double wide, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I got it on uh, on the deep uh, picture so that you can get the whole room. This is a great room, what they call a great room, which is actually two rooms in one, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite large. But um, this is a great room. I'm going to move the TV over to above the fireplace where it belongs. And um, 
move all this living room furniture or family room furniture, whatever you want to call it, and put it here and then put this small dining room suit back there because that's where they belong. Now this is a fold-out bed. This this is a fold-out bed, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably have it here along the wall. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to move this stuff and put it over here. and then Folks, he's not even going to change the sheets on the bed. He's not even going to change the sheets on the bed. I guarantee you, this motherfucker is just going to fucking smooth, just roll in there and just... Ah, golly. Put the uh, dining room suit over there. And um, that'll be slow going for me. But uh, I'll get it done. And then, of course, there's the kitchen. Nope. Annabelle P. donated 20 pounds through Super Chat. Today is a good day for those children, especially at Christmas. Wonderful. Notice how Stinky isn't in the slightest concern about the kids. Too busy bragging that now he has time to come after the trolls. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Annabelle. I'm glad you could be here this morning to participate in the news. My goodness, folks, this is a big event. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this, I mean, I don't know, folks. He doesn't sound like a man broken. But, anyways, let's move forward. What is that they had things boxed up, bagged up, and ready to go? Ooh, ooh, ah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Baby Jane donated $10 through Super Chat. Good riddance. I'm glad the kids are with loving people now that will treat them well. I agree. I agree. I think it is for the better, for sure. And I appreciate that, Baby Jane. Thank you for being here as well, folks. Go. They was going to gonna take off with all these old 45s, maybe try to get some money out of them. I don't know. They might be worth them. There's some old albums over there on the top shelf there. A lot of knickknacks, a lot of stuff, you know. But, um, you know, like I said, essentially, this place is... I need G-Man, so I get hold of G-Man now. Not much, uh, not much wrong with it. Annabelle P. donated five pounds through Super Chat. Once again, why isn't he in there? Could it be he doesn't have permission to live there? That was a very good question. Uh, as far as I know, he's just executor. It has not officially flipped over to him. And uh, that'll be another arc, I predict, is the accounting for the estate money when uh, that comes around as well. Folks, remember, he still owes child support. I'm not sure about going forward, but definitely for the months that they were in foster care, you'll have to deal with that as well. At all. And uh, we got, uh, got the bedroom, master bedroom here. This is the master bedroom. And uh, we got uh, the bathroom here, twin sinks. And of course, <laughs> of course, my personal favorite, the jacuzzi. I'll actually be able to take a real bath. God, I won't know how to, how to act. I'll actually be able to take a real bath, man. I can't believe it. Uh, them, them bathtubs over there are so tiny that you can't... Uh, you know, and, I, and I'm not even a big guy. I'm only like five seven, but them them things are so damn tiny that you know I get I, my late my knees are scrunched up at my face. Anyway, now this is the actual dining room here. Now this is an added on piece here that Mom added on. This is the one that came with the with the double wide. It's a lot more plainer than that one. That one's pretty fancy there. And then of course this armoire here that Mom added. These extra chairs, I'll, I'll... I want to use this video. I want to document this video as the before, right? Because there's going to be an after. I want to see... I hope he stays on the internet for the next year so I can just watch him. Actually, it's sad, but, I mean, you know it's going to happen, folks. Just we have to face reality. He's going to destroy that trailer, right? He's going to leave the doily on the table. He's going to... Right? He's not... He's going to leave... It, it's... It's madness, folks. Probably put them out in the storage. Now, this is the actual living room. And uh, i got to rearrange it because the couch doesn't go there. The couch goes there. And the chairs go there. So i got to put them back the way they were. Um, Mom's got a little shelf over here uh, with stuff on it. And, uh, I ain't going to mess with that. I don't reckon. 
Uh, got to get the picture of my sister down and the picture of the frost down, obviously. Uh, there's mom and some of her sisters. And um, here's the utility room. I got to get all that nasty out of the freezer that the frost left in there. Big old half eaten turkey or something that I got to get out of there and throw away. Uh, now, this is the guest bedroom or bathroom, excuse me. This was going to be Jerry's bedroom, but uh, as you probably have heard by now, I no longer have my children. Thanks to a bunch of fuckwads on the internet, the Frost, and Clay County CPS. And the judge felt at his discretion. Now, explain to me how a judge can say that nothing about my situation has changed, even though I've got my property back and I'm due to get millions of dollars in inheritance money. How does that work? But apparently uh, the judge said, nope, nope, I'm not going to, I'm not going to change. Nothing's going to change. Even though I'm in a brand new building with lots of money. And, uh, but yeah, nothing's changed. And so the judge at his discretion, not because of the best interests of the kids. Now let's be clear because the best interest of the kids is to return them to their father. But we can't do that because the judge was pressured, I believe, uh, into doing this because of just sheer numbers because the trolls threatened to, to constantly harass them and to file a petition and everything else to get my kids taken lesson learned folks don't tell anyone on the internet you have children no one I don't give a fuck if it's a own relative don't Jesus. tell them you got, got kids Pacific Northwest Jess has back donated ten dollars through Super Chat. Great day to celebrate sec. He'll leave the dolls too. Oh definitely, definitely. I don't even wanna uh I don't even wanna think about that, but yeah, thanks a lot. Because as soon as you mention you got kids, these fucks on YouTube can call uh can call the um the, the CPS out to take your kids. And you can have the cleanest house in the world, and it won't matter. That they, you know, my house was clean as a pin, and they said we're taking them anyway. Okay, so just because you got a clean house don't mean shit. Uh, so don't think that that that'll always work because it doesn't. If they're there with a police officer, they're there to take your kids. So if you see a couple of women and a couple of police officers or one police officer, uh, yeah, don't open up your door. Don't be stupid like me and open up your goddamn door. See, this is where I fucked up. I should have never opened my door the first time they showed up on my property. That's where I messed up, and, and I'm paying the price now. I've lost my kids as a result. These fucks on the internet, they don't care. It's not their kids. They don't give a damn, okay? And they'll get, they'll get CPS out to your house to steal your goddamn kids. I'm tempted to move to a country that doesn't have CPS. There are quite a few of them. Believe it or not, this is going, this is going to shock you. Did you know that communist nations don't have CPS? Isn't that interesting? They don't. They don't have CPS. In fact, Russia goes one... Oh, watch this. He's done this before. But watch as he actually pleads the case that it's better to live in a country where kids don't have their rights defended than America. It's funny. He praises the communists, but then calls American, you know, America communists because they have CPS. Don't stare into the shit abyss. I'm actually just killing time because I know there's a super chat coming in and then, ah, whatever. One step further, not only do they not have I CPS, yep. get but in Russia, there it is. The great Gertrude Perkins donated five pounds through super chat. Now is the winter of Stinky's discontent, made more glorious by lulls from us mere trolls. Oh, yes, yes, folks. And wait till you see how many fucking dogs he has on his property. Ugh. Russia, the, the kids are paramount. If the kids say, I'm staying with my daddy, then the kid stays with his daddy. That's the law in Russia. CPS can't come and take your kids away. If your kids say, I'm staying with my daddy, then guess what? You stay with your daddy. Isn't that nice? Why the fuck can't America have laws like that? Oh, wait, because we're quasi-communists. That's why. It's, it's sad when Russia and China and Vietnam and Korea are more American and more free and them communist nations 
than, than we are. That's pretty sad. And there I am. I've lost a lot of weight, haven't I? Look at that. Please do, Vaughn. Please move overseas. Yeah, I mean, well, I think we would chip in to get him a ticket. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Look at that shit. I've lost a lot of weight, man. Oh, look, Vaughn. Look. Ain't got no belly no more. You know why? Uh, yeah. Because yeah. I lost 50 pounds. I almost starved to death. It's true. It's true. I almost starved to death. This guy made videos daily with J-Dub stuffing his face with White Castle. We've seen the garbage bin, folks. We've seen the garbage bin. Lost 50 pounds. You are a marshmallow of a man, Von. Almost starved to death. Frost were going to kill me, buddy. They were going to kill me dead. If I hadn't got my property back, I'd be dead right now. Two weeks, folks. That's all you can last without food. It's two weeks. Then you're dead. Seriously. Look it up if you doubt me. You know, only last two weeks without food. It got scary there for a minute, guys. Now, obviously, I've got all the lights on so you can see. So, you know, I'll, I don't need the lights after I after I do this. But, uh, but yeah, man. Neat, huh? Isn't that neat? And uh, really, really nice, man. Really, really nice. And, um, you know, this, this office, notice that the office is in the bedroom again. So uh, at least she picked that habit up from me, I guess. Or I picked it up from her one because her desk is in her bedroom just like mine is. I'm going to have the freebie internet in here. I'm going to put the router uh, box way back here in the corner close to the wall. Now you say, well, why are you doing that? I'm doing that because these routers have a very short range. But if my router's way back here against the wall, say on this dresser drawer here, I'll be able to use it out in the garage. He's got it all worked out. He's got his priorities straight, folks. Now you say, well, Vaughn, you've lost your kids. Well, that's true. But when the kids turn 18, it's my understanding that they can come right back home again. Much to the chagrin of the trolls. Also, too, when the kids turn 18, they can sue. Do you hear me, trolls? They can sue your ass when they turn 18. You took their daddy away from them, their mommy away from them, and their grandma. You destroyed their childhood. They never got a childhood because you was constantly calling CPS out here to snatch them out of the house. So they never got a childhood either. You don't think my kids will find your fucking asses and sue the shit out of you? Of course they will. Of course they will. You destroyed their entire lives, man. Oh, the kids are so much better. Oh, yeah, I imagine they are. Imagine they are. Yeah, we're going to see how much better they are when they... I'm sorry, Wilson donated $2 through Super Chat. Don't cry, Vaughn. J-Dubs will still call you daddy. Mm, mm, indeed, indeed. Thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. Sue you into the ground. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll sue you, man. You destroyed their lives. You literally destroyed every facet of their life. You destroyed their entire family. What'd you do? What'd you find, Midnight? Did you find something, baby? Let me see. Did you find some kind of monster? Here, look out here. What'd you find? Is there some kind of monster there? Did you find a jar full of Ma's gold? I know she had a jar of gold around here somewhere. I Stop. need G-Man! Someone get a hold of G-Man now! Annabelle P. donated five pounds through Super Chat. Starved to death? You were shoveling TV dinners down your gums five times a day. While... His dogs literally starved to death. Literally starving to death. Folks. <laughs> What'd you find? Is there some kind of monster in there, huh? Let's see. Let's take a look. I don't see anything, baby. It's just a bag of bags. Literally. I'm just, them's just grocery bags is all. That's all they are is grocery bags. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I don't know, did you see a spider or something? What did you see? But anyway, I thought I'd, you know, keep. I, can't, I promised one of the attorneys I would take you all through the double wide and let you see. You know, now obviously I got to put all this shit back up. Throw this out. This here stuff's old. I got to throw it out. Um, this I'll go through and see if it's salvageable. I seriously doubt it, though. I mean, you know, mom's been gone now for, well, she's been gone since December of 2021, and this is December of 2022, so she's been gone a year. Um, you know, mom's gone, my kids is gone, my wife is gone. What do you think the gods are going to do about that, huh? 
What do you think? You know, you know, there's a passage in the Bible, trolls. Now, I know you trolls, most of you are atheists. But there's a passage in the Bible that's pretty interesting. You know what that passage says? It says, touch not, it says, touch not mine anointed. You know what that means in, in regular talk? What that means in regular talk is that if you mess with a prophet of God, of any religion, doesn't matter what religion they are, if you, t if you fuck with a prophet of God, a God, someone that is anointed of the gods to, to do their bidding for whatever purpose, and you fuck with them, what could happen is that the gods could take your life. See, there was a story in the Bible where a man and a woman had stolen money out of the, out of the uh, fledgling church coffers. Simon Peter caught him stealing the money. He said, hey, what are you doing? And they made some lame-ass excuse. And uh, Simon Peter said, look, man, you, stole, you didn't steal from me. You stole from God. You know, and about that time, they, but they both dropped dead right there in front of Simon Peter. They just dropped dead. Now, you say, well, that's just a story. Well, it might be. But I tell you, it makes sense because a God is going to protect his people, people that cares about him. Well, now, see, I don't have just one God. I've got a whole pantheon of gods that will protect me, that care about me. The goddesses have said they love me. They protect me. They care about me. I don't know why. I'm a crazy idiot. I get, sometimes I get kind of stupid thoughts in my head and stuff, you know, that don't make no damn sense. They love me anyway, though. So, you know, and the, and the gods like me too. They like me. I don't know why. I'm not that great. I'm not that special. But for whatever reason, my fingers were in the way, weren't they? <laughs> Sorry about that. Whatever, for whatever reason, they do seem to care. I better get these lights on. <clears throat> I got to turn them ceiling fans off. Get these lights on. And, uh, there we go. But, uh, I, I promised my attorney I'd show the double wide, so. Uh, and, of course, you'll be seeing more of the double wide once I move in, obviously. And, uh, like I said, they'll be out here the 8th to transfer everything over and make sure it all works. And, and then, uh, move that TV over to the fireplace where it belongs. Because it don't belong in the corner over there. It's my... Now, no one can tell me that any of these videos, you know, didn't contribute to any of this. I mean, these are literally the types of videos he's submitting to. He's, he's going to give this to a lawyer. Him ranting about being the anointed one of fucking multiple nameless gods that live in his head. Folks, this is the type of shit that he was presenting as evidence to court, right? Just, just keep that in mind. Goodness, that's ridiculous. I don't know. Well, wait a minute. I do know who suggested putting it in the corner. It probably was James Arnold Frost, since he's the one manipulating her. So, no, we're going to put the TV where it belongs, which is over the fireplace. We'll put the deer head over here with the deer painting. See, we've got a, we got a deer painting. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen the deer painting. And uh, So, we'll put the deer head here with the deer painting, which makes sense, right? And then here's an owl. I don't know if you saw the owl. But we'll put the deer head here with the deer painting, and then that way we got to set that way. And then we'll put the TV over here where it belongs. Then we'll take this, move that over there, move the living room stuff over here. Is it just me, or is it just kind of creepy, like just moving in and living off the furniture? I can see keeping a few things you need. And don't get me wrong, I realize that Vaughn owns nothing in that other trailer. You might as well just burn it down, right? Once he moves his computer over, I guess. And the Karate Kyle photo. I still fucking want that. But that aside... I don't know, folks. I'm just kind of speaking, I guess, to, for the sake of speaking. But I just think it's weird. Like, most people, you know, obviously you'd move your own stuff in, right? You. This motherfucker, he ain't. He's going to live right on that furniture. He's going to completely destroy that floor we'll watch the curtains and the doily slowly over time change color not because he smokes just because he has an aura of fail that's greasy and slimy and ugh. and then i'll you know i'll be able to watch tv in comfort in front of my fireplace which is what you're supposed to do anyway and in addition we will 
I have, have a desk here in the living room most likely or I'll just you know I'll probably just do it from my bedroom I don't know I may just use the freebie internet I don't know yet I haven't decided uh, the freebie internet isn't as powerful as my paid version of course but for working out there in the garage it should be more than sufficient and I can always tap in, you know, I can always tap in uh, from from that to the other, you know, log in to StreamYards from that mobile device. And, and like I was like I was doing before. How long? How long in, like, until? OK, here's the thing. Let's say he moves in. He actually moves in. He's moved in. How long are we giving Vaughn till he starts making videos wearing his fucking mother's blouses? Right. How long? Are we going to give him how, what, a week, two weeks? I know he barely changes shirts, but eventually he's going to run out of shirts. He ain't going to do laundry just because there's laundry machines there. It will be inevitable. He will go through the closet and assume that it's like his father's fucking polo shirt, just like he did. Remember shirt by the pound? He wore the female shirts. He's done it more than once. Folks. Right? You know, only this time it won't be in my kitchen. It'll be... And actually out in the garage you guys will actually be able to be live out in the garage and see me do stuff live out in the garage like work on that Harry Tate aircraft like I promised like I've seen me doing and uh, still ain't ready to do the Harry yes and the chirping fire alarm that's always a hallmark of a cow for some reason that'll that'll be ongoing as well folks trust me Tate yet because that's a big project and I want to make sure that uh, the Frosts have paid back every dime of my money. All of my possessions are back. And then I'll work on the Harry Tate. Because that's a big job, the Harry Tate. It's a, it's a good-sized bomber. It's a two-seater bomber, but it's got a huge wingspan. And it's got a whole lot of wires that have to be wired to it. Uh, hundreds of wires, probably. It looked like a lot, anyway. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I promised to show the double wide. And so... Like, the kids right now are the furthest thing from this man's mind. Like, there's no way, right? Until it suits his purpose to play victim, right? So, I am. But nothing's changed, according to Judge, Har Judge Clint J. Harris of Clay County, Kentucky. Nothing has changed, you know. Nothing's, nothing's changed. Does it look like nothing's changed to you? I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a house that's almost twice the size of the previous house. But, uh... You know, but okay, whatever, you know, whatever. It's his decision, and uh, he'll have to live with the consequences because the gods I serve are real, and they don't mess around. You know, they just don't. You know, remember, I, all, the way, all the way to that courthouse, the gods kept telling me, no matter what the judge decides, you're still going to win. And I said, well, that doesn't make sense if he takes the kids away, and they said, trust me. No matter what he does, you're going to win. Now, I don't know what that means. Does that mean there's going to be some kind of an appeal process? Does that mean the governor's going to intervene? Does that mean the attorney general will intervene? Does that mean Rand Paul's office will intervene? I don't know. I don't know. Either one of those entities could intervene. The Kentucky State Bar could intervene and say, Hey, you're not supposed to take him kids away over that. Potty training a puppy is not a crime in the state of Kentucky. It's not. You know, and, and at least I did get him to admit that. He did admit that I had committed no crimes. I hadn't done anything wrong. He just, he just, I don't know, he just didn't want to give me my kids back, I reckon. <laughs> you know, that was, that was the way it came off to me. He just didn't want to give the kids back. Well, there's a, you know, there's recompense for that. Okay, you take a man's kids... Uh, you're going to pay back uh, in some way because the gods will require it of you. You know, that's how gods work. They always require something of you, you know. So we'll see what happens in that regard. Of course, that's out of my hands because as you well know, the gods won't let me do anything, dang it. I'm not allowed to do anything. I'm not allowed to, I can't fart in a crosswind without them jumping on me anymore. Saying, hey, you ain't, get, you ain't getting involved in this at all. You let us handle it. I'm like, okay, fine, jeez. So they're handling it. I don't know what they got in mind. But uh, they'll take care of it. They will take care of it. Everything Because I'm like, like a stuffed turkey and, for Thanksgiving. Uh, Stick me with a fork. I'm all done. Naysayer has just donated five Australian dollars through Super Chat.
I have it on good authority. The Kentucky Wildcat t-shirt is his mother's. It has already begun. Folks. Folks. <laughs> He's already raiding the closet. You know? And then when my kids turn 18, they can come home anyway. And there's not a damn thing anybody can do about it. Yeah, when they're adults. Not even the trolls. I mean, what are the trolls going to do? Kids are 18. Nothing they can do about it then. But, uh, but yeah, I did promise to uh, uh, take a picture or two, video, whatever. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And i got to get some of these lights out. Well, see you when you're 18, kids. Nice knowing you. One of my fluorescents here over the bar uh, burned out apparently. I have to get that fixed. I'm going to get some of these lights out because we don't need all of them on. No, no, the overheads especially. Okay, there we go. I don't need the bathroom lights on at the moment. Get them out. But, I, like I said, you know, I promised I'd take a walk through with the double wide. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I go on ahead and kill this. We got them two lights over there on. That'll be enough. Let's save them. It's kind of hard to get them bulbs in anyway. And them, them little tulip bulbs are a little pricey. Not much, but a little bit. Fat Photog, just think about it. Don't say no, say maybe. Von Helton's House of Chairs. Like, how many chairs? Anybody keeping count how many goddamn chairs? <laughs> we got a clearance sale down at Von Helton's. Chair Emporium. Alright, let's get... I don't know if you can see out there, but uh, there should be a, a, three little black dots and one little white dot running around out there. Those are puppies. Full-size puppies. They're not Midnight's puppies. They're one of the big dog's puppies. And they are cute as a button. All, all four of them. There's only four, but they're cute as a button. And, uh... They're sweethearts. Let me get this light out and this light out. I'll leave them on. But uh, yeah, this was going to be Jerry's room, obviously, because of the blue, as you can see. And then this was going to be the girl's room because of the pink. The pink and the pink and pink. But, uh, you know, and then there's two mirrors one for Helena, one for Lyella. But you know what? You got a bunch of assholes on YouTube. That decided it'd be cute to destroy someone's life. And you know they planned this shit in advance. They planned it in advance on Skype. I've got the audio. The audio was given to me anonymously. Said, hey, check out this audio. And it was them talking about destroying every facet of my life and using Clay County to do it. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's nice. I'm on it. But in any event, what has happened has happened. And now... I, I hope the irony of this whole situation isn't getting lost on people. This is like Shakespearean level. Did I not say when people were so bummed out when he got the will reversed or whatever the hell happened and he got executorship of the estate and he had access to the double wide and a lot of people were bummed out and I said, wait, it's inevitable. We've crunched the numbers, folks. It is a Listen, I'm telling you, there's something... To the Von Helton paradox, the theory of fail dictates the bigger the win, the bigger the fail. And here is the irony. He wanted so bad to get this, to get the kids back, to use his leverage to get the kids back, to A, get out of paying child support, B, getting Jerry's check, getting Jerry's check, I think I said that. Anyways. And he, now he's got the double wide and he's going to be all by himself with nothing but Ma's furniture pictures of his sister and a bunch of random chairs scattered throughout the house folks folks the fun begins i can tell you folks the gods i serve don't play and for those of you that might be sitting on the fence or might be neutral in this whole thing grab you a bag of popcorn because it's going to get real interesting and remember there's nothing i can do once the ball starts rolling, there's nothing I can do to stop it. What am I going to tell the God? Who, who am I to tell the God what to do, right? Yeah. I can't tell the gods to do jack. I can't tell them to do nothing. They're going to do what they're going to do, brother. No line, okay? Mm, there will be soon. <laughs> 
we know Von Helton is not going to mount that TV. If Von Helton actually tries, he, one, he's way too lazy. He's going to try to get a family member or someone to do it. But if he does, if he does try it, I want, I want that captured on video because it'll be a complete disaster. It will be soon, won't they, Midnight? Yes, they will, baby. There you go. Watch how many dogs he's got. All right. Make sure I got all my keys before I lock up. Make sure I got everything, and I do. Nope. We're leaving, puppy. Or I am. For now. For now, I am leaving. I'm leaving here. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, babies. Yeah, it's such a good doggy. It's such a good doggy. They just wag them tails like crazy. They wag the tail so hard they move their whole butt. You know what I'm saying? Hi, babies. See, there goes the puppies. There's the biggest one right there. There's the biggest one right there. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Yes, it loves me. Here come, here, now, here comes a little butterball right here, buddy. That's a butterball right there. Could you all calm down? That's a butterball right there, buddy. Yes, it is. What do you want, puppy? What's the matter? Come here. Hey, come here, puppy. Oh, come here. Here, you little fat thing. Let's get you down here. You get on them steps and then you get lost. Now, Sharpie and Floppy, you guys calm down. You guys are way too excited. Way too excited. All right, but anyways, there is the double Y. And, uh, yeah. There they, oh, my goodness sakes. I've got a doggy wanting petting, buddy. Yes, it's wanting some petting. Yes, I want to be is. fed, Vaughn. Yes, it is. I want food. And it's raining. Yay me. I just, I really hope, though, that, it, you know, it just comes down. He's pinned in that double white because the dogs go feral and they see him as a meal. That'd be like, you know, that's some crazy fucking uh, Tales from the Crypt kind of thing. That's what that's how I'd like to see it played out, right? You know what I'm saying? That's where the story arc should go, in my humble Hallelujah, opinion. Hallelujah, praise Jesus, we both got fucked with no loop. Ooh, ooh, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Fluminous Cantrell donated $10 through Super Chat. Vaughn thinks a guy coming to install his router is going to move TVs and furniture around for him all. You know what? That's a good point. He is that entitled. He would actually think that, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I can get around here and get a get a, a video over the front. I guess we got the back, so we might as well get the front too, huh? Oh yeah, let's get the front. Let's go around and get the front. And uh, like I said, it's it's a it's a good it's a good size double wide. It's not bad. She paid she paid about three times the normal rate for a double wide. And uh, me trying to talk her out of that. But she paid she got what she paid for and she wanted what she wanted and so, you know, that's fine I reckon. But uh the cost she paid for this double wide, she could have gotten three double wides. And I tried to tell her that, but she you know, she was so brainwashed by the frost. And when I say brainwashed, I'm not being facetious. I'm being literal. She literally was brainwashed by these frosts. To the point to where that I could not give her good counsel at all. In fact, she thought I was crazy. They, they had convinced her that I was crazy. Uh, told her that I was having sex with another man down the road and everything. It wasn't no man's son. Yeah, I was having sex with oh, some man's son. See? I'm like, what the... That's, you know what, that's, that's not the first time that's come up recently, folks. What's up with that story? What is up with that story? I want him to tell that again. Brainwashed by these frosts. Mm. To the point to where that I could not give her good counsel at all. In fact, she thought I was crazy. They, they had convinced her that I was crazy. Uh, told her that I was having sex with another man down the road and everything. It wasn't no man's son, you know, huh. having sex with some man's son. Some man's son, not another man. Meaning underage, folks. Uh, now, I'm not saying, you know, it's just that it just 
seems to keep coming up, and that's uh, one I don't have a lot of details on. Uh, yeah. Like, what the fuck, man? Crazy shit. They, they're, uh -huh. Everything they can think of. All kinds of perversion shit that they can think of. Come on, get up here, somebody. Come on, get up here. Get in there. All right, very good. Okay, guys, that's going to do it. But, um... I just thought I'd show the double wide, and I did. I kept my word. I try to be a man of my word, you know. I say I'm going to do a thing, I do it. So, anyway, that's going to do it. You all have a pleasant day and a better tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye, Boo Bear. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. He keeps the ending on, and it killed my ears. But And I, I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, and that's creepy, too. Folks, if you're just joining... We're going to go back. We're going to watch the original video right from the teat if it's still up. Give me a moment here, folks. Because we want to hear it straight from the horse's vag one more time, but in context. So if I can still bring this up, I believe it's still up. I believe so. Here it is on Twitter. Shout out. Shout out to J, J Cups. Let's make that big. And uh, where are we at for volume, folks? So this is the original video. We'll skip it up a little bit from for the fallouts. That's where the, the puppy comes in the lap. So if you're just joining, here you go. Here's the context, folks. Yeah, that's an insta ban. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, let me give the link out to people on YouTube. I'm just going to do right. quick promoting on YouTube, the video right. link. Well, while you're doing that, let me go get my food. All right. Oh, yeah. What are you cooking up today? Uh, teriyaki. 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 Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and check us out on Twitter. Twitter is a free speech zone. They believe in free speech, so check us out. Uh, Brett King made a video about me. That's right. It was a, how we met and how we met Vaughn. It was a very good video. I, and he said a lot of beautiful things in there. And um uh, you know, I, I I'm glad that I you know I, you know hopefully he still considers me a friend, um, and um, I still care about Brett. I always care about Brett. I always wonder what happens to him. And I'm always concerned, like when he goes off of YouTube and where he's going and what happened and who you know who said what to who and did someone say something nasty and you know. He has a lot of defense mechanisms now because of because of online, and it's a, it's a shame that atheists abuse people and they get away with it online. It's it's a it's a shame, but uh, we are live on Twitter. If people want to follow me on Twitter, uh, link is in the description to my Twitter or the. All right, we got that cooking in the nuker, and uh, it'll be done here pretty soon. Yeah, you. I uh, just want to say a quick something for YouTube. Um, um, Brett said he likes your mods, your Fallout mods. You want to yeah. Brett? Yeah, in fact, a lot of people do. Yeah. Close to close to 3,000 people do, as a matter of fact. Where can they find your mods? All right, let's Nexus? skip ahead. My mods are on Nexus. Again, if you notice, this is how happy this man, the kids are the farthest. Away. How would you, I mean, listen, one of the things that always drives me nuts with the Sandy Hook deniers is they go, well, the parents didn't react the way we think they should have reacted or something. I don't want to be that guy. Right, I can only imagine just saying, "I'll see you when you're 18." Like, actually, I can't imagine that. That it's it's mind-boggling. But anyways, we'll get through the meta here, and we'll get to the point. This, yeah, the Nexus, uh, and then um, what you put Von Helden integrated in. I'm getting a lot of views. Not necessarily getting a lot of downloads, but I'm getting a lot of views, man. I mean, you know, a lot of views. Uh, let me see here. People are looking, but they're not using, huh? Yeah, they're, well, they, you know, they're curious. A lot of people are just curious. But, um, okay, now, like, uh, total views, 1,327, but unique downloads, uh, total downloads, rather, is only 34. So, I mean, you know, a lot of people, they just look, but. Uh, but in any event, um, you know, I'm well, hopefully I'm, we catch some people to download and, and support cash app. Exactly. You know, I've got app. my cat. Yeah, I got my cash app on there. And so hopefully they'll. Hey, I just lost my kids forever, but at least I got 34 downloads on my uh, follow mods. We need a little little bit of I have been um, I've been making all kinds of cool stuff. And 
you know, beds and, and ceiling fans and I, my, my, um, you know, the old rusty shacks ain't old rusty shacks anymore. I've got new wallpaper. I've got ceilings. Yeah. I've got flooring. So everything, everything's coming cool. up really nice, man. Oh my. Yeah. It's really, really cool. And I, and now I'm, now I made, I made, uh, uh, beds with curtains on them, you know, the real fancy beds with curtains on them and I uh, got them out there. And so, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make, uh, some, some, uh, some, uh, um, beds l-shaped you know l-shaped beds where okay. you got one at the top and then you got one at the bottom and it forms yeah, those funky wall. ones that you were showing me yeah yeah and then uh and then see underneath that other side there i can have a desk with it with a chair and so that way you got your desk and you got the two beds right there together see it's all one all one unit you know pretty cool huh yeah 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 i always thought it was pretty cool yeah yeah, Brett, Brett really likes him apparently. So that's good. That's real good. Yeah, he wanted me, he told me he said I, I want I want some children's beds. And I said, Well, you know, it's ironic you say that because that was literally the next thing I was gonna do was make some children's beds. And so um so uh yeah, made some children's beds. It's ironic you said that because I happen to have three empty ones. And um he wanted some plain uh blanket, plain colored blankets. Because apparently there wasn't very many in some of the other mods that were out there, so I made some plain color blankets for his beds and stuff. So yeah, you know, I mean, any any reasonable request, folks, that you have for my mods, I'm more than happy to do. I don't mind. I don't mind as long as it's a reasonable request, and it's not copyrighted, trademarked, or you know any of that shit. Holy mama, night. The food ain't even done yet. Calm down, <laughs> dude. Calm down, dude. You're getting too excited. You're getting too excited. Just calm down. Okay? Just calm oh, down. Oh, puppy dog. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know, they, she knows She knows that something happened yesterday. She doesn't know what, but she knows something important happened yesterday. And I suspect this residual energy from that. You, you want know. to talk about December 1st or you want to leave that up private? Uh, no, I'll talk about it. I talk about it. Right. I'm happy to talk about it. See, here's the thing. Uh, the trolls were successful in getting my kids totally removed from me and adopted out. Now, I want you all to listen to me, and I want you to listen to me good. That was the stupidest fucking thing you could have ever done. Because now, I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want. Including getting that truck out there and paying you all a house call. Because I ain't got no kids to keep me down. I can get in that truck out there and knock on your door. Literally, knock on your door. And of course, I'll have the sheriff with me when I do. I'm not stupid. And I think you know what's going to happen when we, when we show up at your door, right? You're going to go to prison. You took my wife, my marriage, my kids, and my mother. You literally destroyed every facet of my fucking family. And your dumbass thinks you ain't going to go to prison for that shit? Of course you are. Of course you are. There's no question you're going to go to prison. Absolutely. Okay. And we so, are live on Twitter, so if you're if you want to speak about freely about things, we are. Yes, you're yes absolutely we can now speak. Welcome. Yes, thankfully now uh, we can speak freely on. Although Twitter. I want to talk about something that happened on Twitter yesterday. Uh, actually, been happening all week. Uh, well, yeah. Kanye, man, he's been going on a tear, man. Kanye's like. Oof, I mean, he's just, I, I don't know what to say, man. Kanye's just been blowing it up. But he's got, ban he actually got, he, I guess he's the first casualty yeah. on Twitter. On the yeah. new uh, Emperor Elon Musk banned him. Now, some yeah. people are saying that he got banned because he posted a swastika or something like that. I don't think I, so. I don't know. I don't know what Kanye's thinking about going. I mean, he's talking about how much he loves Hitler and how much he loves the Nazis. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Kanye. So I don't know on. where the fuck that. Why do you? Doesn't that fool realize that that Negroids and homosexuals were slaughtered by the Nazis? Whoa! That dude yeah, needs well, to read a history book. A lot he of needs people to read were, a fucking history book. Okay, pick up a goddamn history book, Kanye. You need to pick up a history book, bro. Uh, yeah, the, the the Nazis believed in the Aryan race. Well, what is that? That is a race of superiority. Where you had white people, they were essentially white folk, and some even went even farther than that and insisted you had to be blonde-haired and blue-eyed. Now Hitler wasn't blonde-haired and blue-eyed, obviously, because uh, but a lot of people, you know, even went further and insisted that you had to be. 
but um but yeah um but i just want to say i i like lindy lee here she's a a, a nice asian woman she's kind of you know she's nice she supports yeah. biden which i don't really like about her but she has a right. she has a good tweet and i agree with this tweet kanye's last tweet before finally getting suspended was one mocking elon musk All right. kathy Griffin's. Last I, I really don't care about the uh kanye stuff but i am gonna put it back and watch that again last tweet before getting suspended stuff so yeah they, they, she knows, she knows that some fucking family and your dumbass thinks you ain't going to go to prison. For ah, that fuck shit. it. We'll watch I'm the whole thing. Whatever the fuck I want. We'll watch the whole thing. Something important happened yesterday and I suspect there's residual energy from that. You, you know? want to talk about December 1st or you want to leave that up private? Uh, no, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about All it. Right. I'm happy to talk about it. See, here's the thing. Uh, the trolls were successful in getting my kids totally removed from me and adopted out. Now, I want you all to listen to me, and I want you to listen to me good. That was the stupidest fucking thing you could have ever done. Because now, I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want, including getting that truck out there and paying you all a house call. Because I ain't got no kids to keep me down. I can get in that truck out there and knock on your door. Literally, knock on your door. And of course, I'll have the sheriff with me when I do. I'm not stupid. And I think you know what's going to happen when we when we show up at your door, right? You're going to go to prison. You took my wife, my marriage, my kids, and my mother. You literally destroyed every facet of my fucking family, and your dumbass thinks you ain't going to go to prison for that shit? Of course you are. Of course you are. There's no question you're going to go to prison. Absolutely. Okay. And we so, are live on Twitter, so if you're if you want to speak about freely about things, we are. Yes. You're yes, we can now speak. Welcome. Yes, thankfully now uh, we can speak freely on. Although Twitter. I want to talk about something that happened on Twitter yesterday. Uh, actually, been happening all week. Uh, oh, yeah. Kanye, man, he's been going on a tear, man. Kanye's like, oof. I mean, he's just. I, I don't know what to say, man. Kanye's just been blowing it up, but he's got bad. He actually got. He, I guess he's the first casualty. Yeah. On Twitter, on the yeah. new uh, Emperor Elon Musk banned him. Now, some yeah. people are saying that he got banned because he posted a swastika or something like that. I don't think I, so. I don't, know. I don't know what Kanye's thinking about going. I mean, he's talking about how much he loves Hitler and how much he loves the Nazis. <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with Kanye. Here we go. I don't know where the fuck go. that... Why do you, doesn't that fool realize that, that Negroids and homosexuals were slaughtered by the Nazis? Uh, I'm going to put that back. This is great. He actually got, I guess he's the first casualty yeah. on Twitter on the yeah. new uh, Emperor Elon Musk banned him. Now, some yeah. people are saying that he got banned because he posted a swastika or something like that. I don't think I, so. I don't know. I don't know what Kanye's thinking about going. I mean, he's talking about how much he loves Hitler and how much he loves the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Kanye. So I don't know on. where the fuck that. Why did you? Doesn't that fool realize that that Negroids and homosexuals were slaughtered by the Nazis? Uh -huh. That yeah, dude needs well, to read a history book. A lot he of needs people to read were, a fucking history book. Okay, pick up a goddamn history book, Kanye. You need to pick up a history book, bro. Uh, yeah, the, the the Nazis believed in the Aryan race. Well, what is that? That is a race of superiority where you had white people, they were essentially white folk, and some even went even farther than that and insisted you had to be blonde-haired and blue-eyed. Now, Hitler wasn't blonde-haired and blue-eyed, obviously. Uh, cause, but a lot of people, you know, even went further and insisted that you had to be. But, um, but yeah. Um, but I just want to say, I, I like Lindy Lee here. She's a, a, a nice Asian woman. She's kind of, you know, she's nice. She supports yeah. Biden, which I don't really like about her, but she has a... Right. She has a good tweet, and I agree with this tweet. Kanye's last tweet before finally getting suspended was one mocking Elon Musk. Kathy Griffin's last tweet before getting suspended was one of e e mocking Elon Musk. Space Karen is all about free speech until his feelings get hurt. And I think that's what it's all about. I think I think he got banned because he was not because of the the, the Nazi stuff, but because of the because he's going after Elon Musk. And yeah. look, I'm not going to hold back. Elon Musk, maybe he does some good things, maybe he does some bad things. But the fact that, you know, Elon Musk gave 
What was you know it? I one, can't see you, right? Billion dollars. You know, one. Was, what was it? One one point seven billion dollars or something like that. Something like that. The yeah. ACLU. Yeah. Yeah, that a, was kind and, of stupid. And that destroys our freedoms. They don't believe yeah. in civil liberties. No, no, they don't. Oh, they and, claim and to be the American. We're going to defend American John, liberties. I'm only seeing half of you. I'm only seeing about. Yeah, half well, of I, I don't want to be naked on camera. Oh, you're naked. Oh, well, well I'm not naked, rather. but I don't want. You know what I mean? I'm. Yeah, I'm I, in, I got it. I got it. I got I'm it. Having yeah, fun yeah in please. Time. You're you're fine. Thank yeah, you. you're fine. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Someone <laughs> who gives all that money and then supports the AD and ACLU too. That another uh, another one of yeah. The, uh, well, ACLU, see, and that's what. Okay, now, let me let me okay, address not that. Only that but now, speaking of money. Speaking of money, I wonder if Von Helton is going to pay J Dubs back that money. Remember when he was getting the fifties? And he says, and he said to John, if this doesn't work and I don't get my kids back, I'll pay you back. He said that. He said that. We'll skim through this. I don't know if there's really much to be had. I, he, again, does he seem to be a broken man? Are the children on his mind? Like, what has really changed for Von Helton? Right? Even if he did get in some bizarro world where he did actually win millions of dollars in some lawsuit, what would change? Right, instead of Dollar General banquet meals, it would be like uh, what it was, the Schwans or whatever. Again, you'd still be sitting alone in that trailer. Yeah. Elon Musk is also supports baby killing. He's, he he donates let, to Planned Parenthood. Okay, let me He's address a big that. Funder of Planned Parenthood. Okay, okay let me let, all right. Let me address that. Okay, let me address that. Okay. okay, there is a bunch of us on Truth Social, um, myself included. Of course, I'm not on Twitter right now because I'm currently banned, uh, suspended, whatever the fuck. But anyway, uh, there's a bunch of people on True Social that can reach out to Elon Musk. And I said, now, listen, we need to red pill the fuck out of this guy because he can be a big help. And so, you know, apparently that is exactly what is happening. People are reaching out to Elon Musk, telling him what's going on with Planned Parenthood, telling him what's going on, um, you know, with some of this other bullshit that's going on. And, you know, ACLU, for example, you know, and, and trying to, you know, get the guy red pilled and, and get him up to speed on what's really at stake. Because, I mean, you know, the republic is at stake here. If we fail, yeah. if we fail, America's gone, bro. America's gone. We cannot fail. We, we cannot fail in our endeavor because if we do, America's gone. And so that's why it's important to red pill Elon Musk because Elon Musk can be a great asset to helping us restore the Republic. And, uh, and that's what I was telling people on true social and they all agreed with me. They all agree with me. And so, you know, we're trying to get the man red pilled and get him up to speed. I mean, fuck me. If we can get, if we could get Putin and Xi Jinping red pilled, Holy fuck. We ought to at least be able to get Elon Musk red pilled. Right. You know, yeah. now there are well, some I mean, things I like about Kanye. Now Kanye went on. A, now he was on Alex Jones, just show, um, um, Yesterday? Two days ago, three days, two days ago. ago. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday it was, and 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 I I watched the interview last night with Kanye, and and right. and he had that other guy Nick Fuentes. Right, Nick Fuentes. Now I'm right. not a I'm not a big Nick Fuentes guy. I like right. Kanye. I think right. Kanye. I, I don't know what to say about him, Navon. What do you What do you think? Is he is he um, is Kanye just trolling people? Is he just going crazy with the swastikas and the Nazis? Well, that, or... you know, I think I, I I absolutely believe that Kanye is trolling everyone. I absolutely believe that shit. I mean, the dude is black as the ace of spades. Okay, he obviously knows that the Nazis were the Aryan race and that they believed in racial superiority, and that they were racist as fuck. Okay. Any 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 cursory study of Nazism will show you that they were racist as fuck. They believed in the Aryan race, a race of superior people. They believed in, you know, like I said earlier or started to say, you know, they even went so far as to say you had to have blonde hair and blue eyed in some, blonde some hair instances. Blue eyes, yeah. You know, now obviously Hitler was not blonde hair and blue eyes, but you know, a lot so of people a lot of Nazis, blonde hair and blue eyes, gurgles were in uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. Right. A lot See, of, most a lot of, of the people, Nazi most of the Nazis weren't blonde hair, blue eyes. Most of the Nazi hierarchy was not blonde hair and blue I mean, eyes. But at, see, this is Kanye in the interview. Look at him. He's all dressed up. Look at Kanye. He's got the ski mask on. You can't. He's see got his a face. balaclava he's on. He's he got, got gloves on. He got this winter jacket on. Why does he have bella? Why does that, he have that's a bella what I'm saying. He's, he's losing his mind, Ron. He's, lo he's losing. No, his I don't mind. think he's losing his mind. I think he's trolling the fuck out of people. I do. 
I really do. Like I said, five seconds on the internet and you would know the shit about, you know, and you know, I, I love the, I love the media response. So the media cracked me up. Al, uh, they, they, they said, they said that, that Donald Trump entertained two white supremacists. Okay. Well now, wait a minute. Kanye West is, is, is a black man. And Nick Fuentes is a goddamn Mexican. How the fuck are they white folk? And how the fuck are they white supremacists? They're not. Now, a lot of people try to say that Nick Fuentes here, is, that he's an Aryan, that he's a Nazi. No, he cannot be. Like I said before, you have to be an Aryan. You have to be from the Aryan race. Nick Fuentes is a Latino. He is a Mexican. He can never be, never be a Nazi, ever. He can't do it. You have to be Aryan to be a Nazi. OK, I, you know, now is Nick Fuente, uh, Nick Fuentes sympathetic to some of the things that the Nazis believe? Maybe so. But he's not a fucking Nazi. He never will be a Nazi and he cannot be a Nazi because he's a Latino. He is a Mexican. He cannot ever be a Nazi. OK, so that's misinformation. That is, um, you know, that's 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 uh, that's deception. Okay. And I think there's one thing that Nick Fuente said last night on the podcast or the other day on the podcast and 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 um and Kanye West or Yay, I guess is his new name. Yeah, he, yay. He did whatever. say this that you you can love someone from different groups and, and there's good and bad in every group, right? Kanye said he loves yeah. Jews, and then he's like, Well, you know, there are Jew Jew bankers that are trying to destroy me. And he's absolutely there. We right. go. Now you know, he's being specific. Okay, yeah, so right. now he's the, same thing, with, the right. same thing. What he also said was, and I think this is also very controversial. He says, "I don't hate Nazis, but I also, I, I mean, I, I also, there are good Nazis and they were bad Nazis, and and you know, maybe you know, maybe that could be a little, you know, you know, Hitler okay. loved his dog, right? I mean, we can sit here right. and say, well, you know, Hitler had good qualities. He loved his dog at least, right? Okay, you know? all right. Here's the thing. Okay, let me. Let me okay, as somebody yeah, that ahead. actually has, as somebody that actually has German ancestry let me address this okay oh here we go actually <laughs> i even had a dream about this or vision or some shit oh yeah but but here's the thing okay um you know you had in, in world war ii you had two germans and i know how crazy that may sound but you did you had two germans if you had the regular german soldier god meant uns, okay god with us he was a Christian. He, he was a Bible believer. He was a good man, generally speaking. Okay, these were the ones that usually wore the tan uniforms, and they were the normal German soldier that's just out there trying to protect his country. Okay. Now, the other German it was the Nazi SS, the Waffen SS, as it was called. These German soldiers wore all black uniform. And you could tell because they had the SS emblem on their lapels. And a lot of times they would have a skull and crossbones on their hat if they were wearing a hat. Okay. They were very easily identified from the normal German soldier. These guys were not good guys. These guys were diabolically evil. And boy, did they enjoy it too. Trust me. And so, you know, I, like I said, I had a dream one time. It was World War II. I was a soldier. And somehow I had gotten shot in the leg and I couldn't, I, you know, I just couldn't crawl away or something. And I heard the sound of a tank approaching. And I was hoping in my mind that it was normal, everyday German soldiers and not the Waffen SS. Because if it was Waffen SS, you know, I, I knew I would really be in trouble. But if it was normal German soldiers, I'd probably be okay. All right. Well, unfortunately for me, it was it was the Waffen SS. They were in a King Tiger. Now a King Tiger tank is a very very large tank, very powerful tank. It had a very large uh, 88 millimeter gun, and it had very thick armor on it. And uh, unlike the normal German tank, normal German uh, tanks, which were called Mark IVs, Panzerkampfwagen Mark IV, All normal right. German tanks. All right. All right. But these, you know, the the tank. And unfortunately, in the dream, I could feel my bones breaking. I could feel my muscles tearing. Mm. It was very graphic. <coughs> and that's the difference. Okay. You had two Germans in World War II. You had normal. Exactly. Like, is he watching our shows? I think he might be watching our shows. Yeah, I, I do. He might We're be. Influential. I, I, I say, hey, Kanye, if you're out there, call us in, man. Yeah, get call us in. Show. Do something. Get up with us, man. Holy shit. Get up, get up with us. With us. 
My my email is von Helton at hotmail.com. Little V O N capital H E L a little well, no, excuse me. Little V O N little H E L T O N at hotmail.com. Just give me a give me an email. Shoot me an email, Kanye. I'll fucking talk to you. Shit. Well, well, I'll give you all kinds of red pill shit. You said, what should I do? I'm sorry, Wilson. Have you heard about <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you very much, Wilson. We'll get you squared away, bro. But uh, but yeah, you know, I was very encouraged that um, that he's starting to be specific now, targeted as to who he's talking about because oh, because now he's making sense to Von Helton. That's what we're dealing with. This is making sense to Von Helton. You know, there's conservative Jews out there that don't hate America at all. They love America. You know. But then by the same token, you got these leftist atheist Jews that hate everything America stands for. So we gotta be specific. We gotta be targeted. We gotta make sure we know what the hell we're talking about here and what we're doing, right? And and this James guy keeps saying, Is there any lives? And I keep telling him, Well, I got, you know, um, he's wanting to know if there's any lives. Yes, the Jake, the Jay guy, you want him to come in or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me go get him. You want the link to the Twitter to page so you can watch they can watch it too? Yeah, uh, well, I don't, I don't have the Twitter page, but I'll give him. I'll send it. I'll send it to you. Oh, okay, we'll put it in a private chat or something. Uh huh. I'll get it. All right. It's like damn, fucking awesome, bro. But um, um, but yeah, Kanye, man, dude, hit me up seriously. I, I, you know, I'll give you all kinds of cool info, buddy. I will. I, you know, I feel you were denied critical need to know information. You feel me? You know, I would, you know, and Nick Fuentes, you want to reach out to me, dude? Hey, reach out to me, man. I'm here. That's exactly what Kanye West needs right now is Von Helton in his head. I'm here, man. But, uh, uh you know, oh, the, that looks good, right? right? Oh, shit. That reminds me. I got to go get my teriyaki. Got to get your teriyaki, man. Let's go ahead and play. Addiction, the to commit uh, pro abortion, they're pro porn, they're pro filth, and I'm glad that Kanye is speaking out against it. And just like mm -hmm. Sammy speaks mm -hmm. out against it, just like I speak against it, Vaughn, you speak out against it. But the one thing, Kanye, if you're listening, you gotta dude. tone it down a little bit. You gotta be specific, dude, dude, dude. You're hanging out with a guy who used horse vagina mods, who gets gangbang mods for his dog. In video games. Who just lost his kids forever. For being a complete piece of shit. Dude. Specific. You gotta you be gotta, specific. You're going a little bit too down the rabbit hole man. So the next generation of people. So God can use anyone. And so you know. We all have our flaws. And we have to just do better. For Kanye. Come out here. Come chat with us. 929-376-9794. Direct line to the to the podcast. You call in. I put you on speaker. Oh, please, so, someone tell me that they can get a Kanye impersonator to to call. That would be glorious. Um, Vaughn's email, Von Helton at live at live.com, at hotmail.com. Which one is it? Hotmail. Hotmail.com. Von Helton at hotmail.com. He also has Von Helton at gmail.com as well, right. I think. Well, I don't have anything Google on my computer no more. So oh, but he can't access it. Okay. Yeah, I can't right, access yeah. my Gmail anymore. It's still That's... active, but I can't access it. You're right. <clears throat> don't really need it, but oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. And, you know, and, and like I was saying, you know, I lost my kids yesterday. Uh, so now I've lost my wife, my marriage, my kids, and my mother. And so, Kanye, when you was talking on Alex Jones about how you lost everything, Brother, I can definitely relate. I can definitely relate because I got haters out there. They hate my guts. I came out against Obama, and when I came out against Obama, they latched onto me yeah. and decided to destroy every facet of my life. But I got a funny feeling the gods I serve are going to have the last laugh. Let's just put it that way. Because now that my kids are gone, there's nothing prohibiting anyone from doing anything. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how those things, those things go. See, the only thing really restraining me at this point was the fact that I had my kids. And well, I don't have my kids anymore. So now there's nothing to restrain me. There's nothing to hinder me or the gods, for that matter, from doing what they need to get done. 
And if that means they're going to go scorched earth on, on these cats, then so be it, you know. Now, I rely heavily on my gods and, you know, for what they do. I mean, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly defenseless myself, but, you know, the gods want me to stay out of it. They want to handle it themselves, and so I let the gods handle it. But, um, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, so I, I can definitely relate because I've, you know, I've lost pretty much everything. And, um, you know, but I'm bouncing back, man. The gods, the gods are great. And uh, they're they're helping me bounce back, and I'm gonna get bounced back, and everything's gonna be awesome. Bouncing back, dude! You just had your kids, like all your parental rights, stripped from you. Mm. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a wonderful time in America again. I guarantee you. Guarantee I hope it. Move on. I hope now, the gods are going to get in America. Well, like I said, the gods have told me that they they're going to restore the republic. Okay, now that's an important distinction. They didn't say they were going to restore America. They said they were going to restore the republic. Now, why is that important? Because the America we have now. Here comes some of those red pills I was telling you about. The America we have now is not real. I'm, I know how crazy that might sound to some of you, but trust me, the America we have now is not real. Washington, D.C. is not your real capital. It is fake. It's all fake. Now you say, well, Vaughn, how in the hell can that be? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain it to you. In 1871, Congress passed the Act of 1871. What did that do? It created a control and manipulate and own and I, I put own in air quotes, the United States of America. And it also allowed them to reestablish the republic. The thing about the Morgans, they control the banks here in the United States. And if you'll, if you'll look on your Social Security card, guess what you see on the back of your Social Security card? Oh, J.P. Morgan. Wasn't that interesting? So, um, you know, so yeah, th this, this is a pretty big deal, right? It's a pretty big deal. Now, the thing about it is, if we if we get rid of the New World Order's money in total, whether it be Biden's digital currency, American banks again, instead of being controlled by Europe and hope. <laughs> well, if, that, if that's true, why aren't you dead? You know, I mean, that's kind of a stupid that's kind of a stupid thing. I mean, if she was putting poison in your food, you'd be dead. We wouldn't even be having this show right now. You know, so, yeah, that's bullshit. You know, if you can't speak the truth, baffle them with bullshit. That, that used to be a saying, believe it or not, years ago. Of course, the context was totally different. The context was if you were in danger. You know, I Fuck, Vaughn's feeling so good, he's even using a straw with the mountain. Do you see that? He's all fancy. Probably got a box of straws from Moz. Found him in the closet. He's feeling all fucking... I think he's feeling pretty good. Obviously, no one's in danger right now. At least I hope not. Uh, yeah, the former so FTX now. Annabelle P donated five pounds through Super Chat. He's positively giddy. He's lost the kids. He can play victim while lording it around the trailer park. I I would 100% agree, Annabelle. He reminded me when he was making that uh, double wide. Uh, video. He was reminding me back when Shani, who also has trouble being mobile, was quite light on her feet. I remember remarking she reminded me of a young Jackie Gleason gliding across the floor when G-Man showed up and cooked spaghetti, and she didn't sit down once to cook. That's what I was reminded of when I saw Vaughn uh, floating around the trailer, frolicking. CEO, which looks like he's 18 years old, is still not in jail. Anybody else that has done far less than he has done has been jailed. He is still not in jail as of right now. He is not in jail. Um, now, I just got something from Gateway Pundit. Let me see if that's changed. Uh, former FTX CEO Sam Blankman Freed admits FTX didn't buy Bitcoin for clients, just took their money. Woo! Hey! All right. Ooh, that's a go. nice little uh, truth. That's a nice little on, zinger. We finally got proof that ivermectin was 
put it in there. Get it, ivermectin's okay. Okay, well, here's the thing. They had a life with their with their daddy. You fucking troll. Holy shit, is it going to focus? Uh, well, your phone went black. <laughs> there it is. Okay. John, be honest here. This is the best thing that could happen for them kids. I'm not being evil. I'm being realistic. Von is incapable of taking care of himself, let alone those kids. They have, and it went off again. They finally have a chance at life. Okay, well, here's the thing. They had a life with their with their daddy. You fucking trolls took their daddy away from them, their mommy away from them, and their grandmother away from you're them. Telling me, you're telling me that kids would have a better life with the government than with their own parents? Come on. Why don't you, you guys need, you know what you know what you need to do? You guys need to really sit down and have a nice little chat with Brett Keen and let Bre Brett Keen tell you about the loving government and what he experienced in foster care. Because I can tell you, it was no picnic. And I will remind you, motherfuckers, I'll remind all of you. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'll remind all of you. Brad Keen is on record saying he didn't see his brother for 36 years because of that shit. And, he, and, he, and as far as I know, he just got damn lucky he met him in that goddamn coffee shop. Or he probably still would have not known where his brother was at. Okay, so let's get this shit straight. Any motherfucker that calls the government on somebody, that motherfucker better be pretty fucking evil. Because if you call the government on an in another innocent person like you did me, you'll wish the gods had intervened because I'll be the one beating your ass then. Okay? This is a bunch of shit. The last thing you ever want to do to any American is call the government on them. Because the government don't give a fuck. They'll destroy your entire life. Oh, wait, they fucking did. Wow, what a shock. The government don't give a fuck. And anybody that calls the government on someone deserves to get their ass beat. Let's just put it out there. Okay? Let's just put it out there. Now, you fuckers knew exactly what the fuck you were doing when you sent CPS, FBI, CIA, Interpol, and all these other motherfuckers. When you sent them out to my house, you knew exactly what the fuck you were doing. So I don't want to hear no shit from none of you trolls. None of you. Okay? You destroyed those children's entire fucking life. They never got a childhood because CPS kept coming out here yanking them out of home. So they never got a childhood. Then you took away their mommy. Then you took away their grandma. Now you've taken away their dad. You people are the evilest motherfuckers on the face of the planet. And I can't wait to hear those phone calls from where they're telling me that you motherfuckers are dead. I can't wait to get them. Because you know it's happening. You know it's going to happen. The only thing that kept you trolls alive was those kids. And they're gone now, pal. And I can't, re I can't appeal it. I've already, my, my attorney's already told me I can't appeal. Because appealing wouldn't do no good. Because the appeal just goes right back to the same judge again, which I think is utterly stupid. But that's what they said. So there's no appeal. They're gone. Which means the gods are going to cut loose on you motherfuckers. And we'll be under you. Because they just are, fuckers. Sorry about your luck. You know, I was talking to this one guy, and he's like, oh, no. And I said, you know what that means, right? He said, yeah, I know exactly what it means. It means God's going to start killing these fuckers. Yeah, it's exactly what it means. Because now there's nothing left to keep you. There's no reason to keep you fuckers alive. You understand that, right? You understand that you literally put signed your own death warrant with these gods that I believe in. Because these gods I, I believe in, they don't play, man. You fuck with somebody's family, you're going to pay. And you destroyed my entire goddamn family. You killed my mother, drove my wife insane, and now you got my kids adopted out. You don't think the gods are going to are gonna kick your ass? Of course they are. And a two-year-old would understand that. So now you be prepared, fuckers, because, and I'm telling you, I, to, I told my attorney yesterday, I said, you need to schedule us a flight to, to Fiji or the Bahamas or Tahiti or somewhere because we need to get the fuck out of here because the gods are going to cut loose on this fucker. They're just going to cut loose. And we need to get the fuck. I mean, that goddamn fist imprint out there in my road should have wo woke some of you fuckers up, but apparently it didn't. But that's okay. It's all good, man. It's all good. Because like I said, on the way to court yesterday morning, the gods spoke to me numerous times over and over again. Said, no matter how, what the judge rules, you still win. Well, what does that mean? That means that means you fuckers are done. That's what that means. It means I your goose is cooked, so baby. It old. means your goose is cooked. Fuck yeah, that's what. Anonymous has just donated three dollars.
How many more times would the kids have gone to school with lice shampoo in their hair? I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just... Yeah. I hear you. Thank you very much. That's what it means. That's the only thing it could mean. I mean, obviously I didn't win because I lost my kids. So what the fuck does it mean? It means you guys are done. You're gone. You're dead. Yeah. Goose as, we, as, we say, as, as we say in German, Ali Putin, you're all dead. You're all dead. Yeah. You're not good. The, 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 the gods have already killed 15 of you, dumb motherfuckers. And you still, and you kept going with it. They want to go for another 15, man. They, they just go for another 15, going. sounds like. Yeah, sounds like it to me. You dumb asses. I mean, if I see my friends dropping dead, I'd be like, I'd be assholes and elbows, man. I'd, I'd be out the fucking AO. And you dumb asses stuck around and kept doing the shit like a dumb ass. What the fuck's the matter with you? But that's okay. It's all cool, man. Because, you know, the gods are in control. They're going to handle this shit. They're going to take care of business. And it's going to be dealt with. All right. It's just going to be fucking dealt with. So, you know, kick back. You know, I told this guy on, on Steam, I said, kick back with your popcorn, bro, because it's about to get real interesting. Kick back with your popcorn because them reports rolling in. So-and-so's dead. So-and-so's dead. So-and-so's dead. Y'all going to start dropping like flies, man. Or or maybe put in jail or, or something. Something's going to happen to you. Because they told me over and over and over again, numerous times. I don't even, I lost count how many times they told me. Said no matter what that judge decides, you win. The implication being that if I lost my kids yesterday, that I would still win. Well, what does that mean? That has to mean y'all are gone. That's the only thing it can mean. It's the only thing it can mean. And see, without the kids, there's nothing to prevent them from doing so. Nothing. So when the death angel comes, don't be sitting there whining and crying about jack shit. Because you knew exactly what you were doing. You took my wife, my marriage, my mother, and now my kids. And you damn near got me kicked off my own property and got my inheritance taken away from me and all this other bullshit. So when the death angel comes, and it will come, I don't want to hear no shit from you because you knew better. You guys are supposed to be fucking adults. You should have known better, but you didn't. And so now you're going to pay the ultimate price, most likely. Now, I don't know what the gods have in mind, and I don't want to fucking know. I'm, I, like I said, I'm probably going to hop a plane and get the fuck out of here, truth be known, because I don't want to be anywhere near when this shit goes down, whatever it is, that big ass fucking fist imprint out in that goddamn road was enough to convince my happy ass to get the hell out of here when shit goes south. All right. Now you guys can believe whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a damn. But the truth of the matter is, is that if I'm winning and I just lost my kids, then that has to mean something else is going to happen. Right. Common fucking sense here. Yeah, okay? it's, something, it's something even bigger going to happen. Exactly. Has to be. It has to be. OK, so get prepared, motherfuckers, you know, and for those of you that are sitting on the fence, grab you some popcorn because it's going to get real interesting. I guarantee yeah. it. Guarantee fucking tea. Going to get real interesting. So, you know, you guys signed your own death warrant, though, man, getting rid of them kids. That was dumb. That was the stupidest thing. And I told you over and over and over again, I need them alive so that I can sue them and put the money in the kids bank account. Right. And well, there ain't no kids now. No need to sue you now. You know, uh, what, what, what is it that, that one motherfucker keeps saying, where's my lawsuit at, man? Well, you know what? I don't need a lawsuit now. Don't need one. Don't need one. You guys are toast. Sucks to be you. So, anyway, enough rant about that shit because it's over and yeah, done. Yeah, no, it's good. No, it's a good rant. Over and what done. Do you want to talk about the... Uh, um, that thing? Well, I do want to touch on ivermectin because now that now that they've been caught in this in this shit and it's all been exposed and the administration's lawyers maintain that the agency's rejection of IV jab, jab right. Von Helton doesn't care that he lost his kids today. So lazy that GPS took those 12 kids, took those kids 12 times and now they're gone for good. Sorry about your luck. Well, I guess we're going to have to go ahead and uh, tell you to go fuck yourself there, bud. That's right. Yeah. Um, we're going to. We're going to block. We're going to report. We're well, gonna we, block yeah, we can report. Yeah. Oh, Rob. Robbie's been uh, harassed me lately. So happy to hear those kids are in safe hands. Praise the Lord. Salve, salve, uh, Savior Jesus Christ. E Maximo. Why right. does Von Helton hate the police? Well, probably because they kill people. 
It <laughs> wasn't the trolls who causes Von Helsing kids to be removed. It was him. Admit that. Oh, Todd Malley coach still harassing us. Still following us. Still going wherever we go. He's keep going. To, we don't want to be harassed by you, Todd. Yeah. Todd says, none of my friends have died because of Von's imaginary gods. And he spelled gods incorrectly. Sorry about yeah. your luck. Well, you know what, Todd? You can go. Um, you can go suck on a rotten egg. Yep. Exactly. So what we're gonna do with Todd is, we're gonna go ahead and tell him. What do you want me to tell him, Van? Uh, tell him that uh, things change. Just that. Two words. Things change. Things change. Yep. That's it. Things change. Trolls harass Vaughn non stop these atheist animals will get their day. Your fake Greek homo god is, is, uh, I don't want to be too hard. I'll just say you're, he's the brain capacity here. Is destroying bonds. Oh my God. Life. But the gods of creation. How do you say it, Fon? The gods of creation? Gods of creation, right. The gods of creation will have the last laugh. Oh, guaranteed on that shit. Guaranteed on that shit. That's, that's a guarantee. Thank you, Brett. Love, yeah. Hope to chat one day soon. All right. Put some comments out there. Right. Now it's time to block. Right. This guy, this guy Bobby's has been harassing me. He's been doxing me and doing all types of nasty things to me. Right. So we're gonna get rid of him. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get rid of Bubba Bubbly because all he does is want to harass you. Mm -hmm. And Todd, what should we do with Todd? Delete him too. Mm -hmm. Delete Todd too. We're gonna delete you too, Todd. See, you can't keep, you can't be nice, Todd, for not even for one second. Nope. So someone named Peg and Mind that followed us. I don't know if you know them. Peg and Mind. Uh, Peg and Mind is is uh, from. Um, they are from. Um, 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 True Social. <laughs> Here's someone that wrote a comment. Ember said, "The trolls should have heeded the warning." What do you think about that, Von? The trolls should yeah. have heeded the warning. Well, absolutely, they should have. How many times did I warn them? I mean, thousands of times, literally thousands of times, they were warned. And they didn't listen. Thousands of times they were warned, and they didn't listen. That's you know they're they're you know they're they're dead men walking as far as I'm concerned. Go back to the reindeer. Go scroll back up to the reindeer. Okay, Rudolph. I think, I believe. Uh, let's see, Naughty Rudolph. Oh, maybe, oh, okay. Never mind, I thought it was somebody else. Never mind, never mind, you're good. Never mind, I thought it was somebody else, my bad.
Do you support Elon Musk? Um, no. I don't know if he wants to be, but he, he can go back anytime he wants, they said. What do about that? Anything, anything that is done of their own free will and volition, there's nothing I can do about that. They just stuck with that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm stuck with it. I won't go. I won't go against anyone's free will, and neither will the gods. We won't. We just won't do that. Uh, whistleblower, the billionaire who thinks he's God. Why George Soros is obsessed with destroying America. Yeah, where the fuck is it? Where? Let me go ahead. Yeah, and take I don't a know where it's at that. either. If you can find the uh, the live show, or the live chat, brother, click on that live on Twitter thing. He still wouldn't have known where his brother was. See, that's sick, man. That's some sick shit. And these trolls and haters on YouTube need to pay for that, and I believe they will. I believe the gods are just going to cut loose on these fucks. Well, let's yeah, see I don't see you, comments. Nikki. I mean, uh, let's see the rest of the comments, John. Keep going. I, this I don't Twitter see account Nikki's has you comment, blocked. It says this tweet is from an account that has you blocked. It says view the view the view the tweet. No, that's me oh, that's blocking from Todd. them. Okay, never mind. All right, that's from Todd. Never, never fucking mind. Todd's a never loser. Mind. I'd reply. Yeah, I'd reply. There we go. All right, let's see. Let's scroll down there and let's see these others because there was a little red button to click on, keep or a blue button rather. Scroll down. Is Brad on... YouTube isn't letting me do it? Trolls should have heeded the warnings. Um, right. Terrible news today. Show more replies. There we go. Can you mod WWE game? Um, I don't know. It depends. Um. Modding games isn't as easy as it sounds. Modding games is not as easy as it sounds, man. You got you got a lot of things. Yeah, we could pretty much do whatever game, and if you send a donation on PayPal or Cash App, we'll actually look into it. We can look into it. Oh uh, yeah, breaking Cochise County, Arizona certified. There you go. Your account, Hilton Bond, is currently suspended. Hey, Elon. <laughs> hey, Elon, are you listening? My account is, is suspended. Hit me up, dude. Open up. Let me in. Let me get back. Let me get back in. Once again, apparently, um, apparently Joe Biden was inappropriately uh, touching Macron's wife. There we go. Uh, he just can't let from France. He just Joe just. Can't, but your account, Von Hilden, has currently suspended. Hey, Elon, let me in, man. Let me in, Elon. Let me back hey, in. Letting bro. everyone else in. Let him in. Yeah, you let everybody else in. Let me back in, dude. Let me back in. Let me let me in so I can red pill everybody, Kanye included. Kanye, I'll red pill everybody. Kanye, Nick Fuentes, I'll red pill everybody, man. We'll have a red pill party, buddy. We'll get everything started. It'll all be all right. Author J.K. Rowling was attracted by the trans movement again, this time for misgendering. Alleged Twitter account of convicted... Holy shit. Oh, well, you know. The slight of our life, our kind, caring, and beautiful daughter, Megan Thancourt... Which got the gist of it. Yeah, fuck you. You take the vaccine and you fuck. Sorry. Not going to do it. Uh, vote for me for Prez and I'll have it fixed in 24 hours, not days, weeks, or months. Let me see what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> Let me go back and see what I was talking about. Um, did you, did you, did you? Uh, toxic chemical radiation dust. Yeah. People were left uh, crippled or dead, and uh, apparently this is, you know, these inhaling the, this this radioactive dust and shit 
uh, apparently really fucked people's lives up. And I don't know. I didn't read the whole thing. Justice, I have not forgotten. And I never will forget. So trust me uh, when I say that if I am somehow president of the United States for whatever reason, I will not forget 9-11. I will not forget J-6. I will not forget anybody that has been abused, victimized, or terrorized, or what have you. I will not forget them. I assure you. I won't do it. I don't believe in it anyway. Even, even if I didn't have, you know, total recall when it comes to stuff like that, I, I, I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't let it let it slip under my nose like that. That's not cool. That's not cool. So yeah, that wasn't cool. Yeah, when nine eleven happened, and uh... apparently he didn't address it at all, uh, according to what Ray Ray was saying on True Social. He never time. Yeah, it was a good little while. So, well, they're finally out there uh, getting ready to fix it up. They they're cutting away some of the some of the debris and the old uh, road and shit. So that they can lay down the, the new asphalt and shit. Three layers of road, bro. Three layers. No wonder there was so much so much uh, shit out of my in my field there. Three goddamn layers of that shit. And the gods just smashed it into bits, buddy, and just and just sent a crack all the way down the damn road. It's like holy fuck, man. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end, buddy, I'll tell you. I have a lot of fear and respect for the gods in that regard. Only a fool would take on these gods and, and think they're going to win, man. My goodness. Well, we... It's a good thing I documented that fist imprint because I know nobody would believe my ass. Yeah, sure it was, man. Yeah, it really was. Mm-hmm, hmm hmm Yeah, you're either awake, as 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 my friend Hog says, you're either awake or you're woke. Okay. You know where it always get me. <laughs> well, grab, we got Odyssey. Grab, too. Uh, grab some food here. Go out to work, and yeah, I ain't doing shit. So, if you meet some kind of tragedy or malady or whatever, not me, not me that did it. Sorry, not me that did it. Yeah. Although there's a certain part we of me. We warned you. We warned you what the gods are going to do, but yep. you, you don't were believe what us. the gods were going to do, and you kept persisting, and now, now you're going to pay, man. You're going to pay, Ray. You know whether you like it or not. All right, All right John. You, you have a good day, man. Bless you tomorrow. Have a pleasant day and a better tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. Bye, bye. All right, folks. So there you have it. Horse <laughs> straight from the horse's vag. Von Helton is officially, apparently forever, lost the kids. Parental rights have been stripped. Apparently, in his words, they've been adopted. Now, again, this is from Von Helton. But definitely, court did not go his way. Folks, I'm glad I could get this news to you. And we could get through this stuff. We'll keep you posted on any further developments. Of course. But I have to get going. And I hope you all have a good day. And